Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, let's see. You've got the regeneration card over here. And this is about applying yourself and doing something brand new. And, you know, it's almost like uh, you need to rope in things from the past in order for you to move forward and put all your energy into that. So it's about, uh, you know... Um, almost revisiting the past to get lessons from the past. You can see this person's pulling in, roping in this particular structure. So you've got a lot of uh, stable foundations, you know, things that you have laid down or things that you've learned from the past. And it's important for you to bring all that into your experience now and use it um, in your work situation. So you've even got the return over here. So this is the full card and this is the new beginning card. Uh, this is starting again from scratch or starting a new cycle or starting something, uh, a new journey. So you want to make a new beginning over here and you know you need to look at those lessons that you actually learned uh, from the past or things that you learned from the past in order for you to make this new beginning. You've got the twilight card over here. So this is like the moon card. Uh, you're still very, very, uh, you know, there's a duality going on over here. You're in two minds about things. You are weighing all the facts and uh, of, of what you're about to do about this change. Maybe you're looking at the pros and cons of the situation and as to how you want to make the change. Uh, now, the moon card, it talks about a little bit, of, little bit about confusion, uh, not having a, a, a lot of clarity, being afraid about doing things. You know, there could be an element about being a little bit depressed as well and, you know, um, thinking that uh, thinking the worst possible outcome. So you're, you're in two minds about what you want to actually do, even though you want to make this new change. So you've got the biplicity card over here, and you've got uh, premeditation. So biplicity is about uh, learning, um, you know. Um, it's about using your, um, you know, almost using your insight to actually uh, make a decision. So um, maybe you have been involved in, in, in study or you've been involved in some kind of training in the recent past. The re, re, um, premeditation card is about, you know, planning and making decisions uh, for the future. So it looks like you've come out from a period of learning and now you're trying to make a decision and, you know, you're planning or you're making all these plans for the future. And this has been going on in the recent past. So going into the future, you've got the Hermit card and the Testimony card. So the Hermit card um, is about, uh, you know, being very, very focused on, on your work. Uh, you can see all this energy in this card. It's Mars is, um, you know, the personal energy that you put in and focus on your, uh, the task or uh, fo focused on your career over here. So you are putting all your energy and focus. In the general normal tarot, it's about a card being ruled by Virgo. So concentrating on your work, concentrating on your study, uh, you know, and uh, getting, you know, re training up so that you become an expert in that particular field. So it looks like, you know, you have been doing some studying in the past and now you're making plans for the future. You want a new beginning and, you know, you're now thinking uh, for the future, you're going to be really focused on that particular work cycle. You've got the testimony over here, a uh, card over here. So uh, there might be some travel coming up for you uh, in the future. Um, you know, also there's a lot of uh, things that are coming to light. So there's a lot of uh, new knowledge coming your way as well. So it looks like, you know, you're going to be doing a lot of expansion You've got um, Jupiter over there, and this is about expansion of the mind, uh, you know, uh, expansion in learning, learning new things. Uh, you know, this is the card um, that is ruled by, um, um, you know, Jupiter rules that further education or further travel or expanding the mind. Um, so you might be thinking about traveling as well, um, you know. So, all you know, and doing it by yourself because you've got the hermit card over here. <clears throat> and you can see this person moving into the future as well. So whatever work you're doing, it seems like there's going to it's going to involve further study, but it also might involve further travel. Um, you know, and you're going to be very, very, very work focused. Uh, so, um, so you're still trying to decide what to do. You're making plans for the future, and you're using all uh, those skills that you learned in the past. So you've got some firm foundations that you've laid down, but roping it into the present so that you can start something brand new. And this might involve, uh, you know, uh, becoming an expert in your field or specializing in your field. So those are the energies for those two weeks. Now I'm using the Vanessa Tarot for the main read. I have put this deck in the description box. Let's see what's going on.
So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the Ace of Wands. So you are going to be getting, be beginning something brand new. So there's some brand new thing on offer here, or some brand new, um, I think it's an experience, if I would say, or it's a new job, or it's a new project that you are going to be starting with this Ace of Wands. And it might involve travel. Uh, with the Ace cards, it's usually about travel or communication with foreign people. So there's something brand new, a new project that might involve, uh, you know, um, expanding, moving, or traveling uh, with this Ace of Wands communicating with a lot of people, foreign people. So you've got that Nine of Wands over here, and it's crossed by the King of Cups. So with the Nine of Wands, it's about, you know, having to solve a lot of problems and having dealt with a lot of responsibilities. Uh, you know, standing up for yourself, fighting the battle, and, you know, um, having gone through, you've, you know, a lot of problems. You can see there's a lot of Wands stacked up over here. The fire, the sky is very, very fiery. So it's been really, you know, it's been a difficult period that you've been going through. Now, you've got the King of Cups over here, so you could have been dealing with a, um, a water sign person over here, or, which is um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, uh, somebody, maybe they've been, they've made some kind of offer to you. Now, this is also, um, you know, in the form of a job offer, or it could have been further learning that you've uh, been considering. So, um this could also be somebody that you're working with, and maybe this is the person that is causing all the problems for you, giving you all these um, um, obstacles to deal with. Um, the King of Cups can also be somebody that is um, offering you advice on how to deal with these problems. So you are trying to sort these problems out. Uh, you know, the fact that this person is standing behind the wands with the wand up, held up, uh, looks like whoever this person is that they're dealing with, this King of Cups energy that they're dealing with, is the person that is causing the issues for them. So you are probably having some kind of issues with a, uh, with a water sign person, somebody in authority. And it might be very, very emotional uh, as to how you're reacting to the circumstance. Now, in the past, you've got the chariot card over here. So it looks like you have moved to do this particular job. Uh, you know, there has been some travel that you have been doing and, uh, you know, um, You've been very, very determined to get the job done. You've got that cow in the back, so money has been coming in with this work. So that may, you may have even bought a new house. Maybe you've even bought a new car uh, with this chariot card. You've got the sun card over here, um, and this is uh, talking about you know success has been coming in, but it's taken a, it's been a hard slog. You've been working pretty hard. Now, on your mind, you've got the Ten of Cups here. So it looks like you want to end the circumstance. So whatever is going on, you know, maybe you feel that there's, it's just too burdensome. Uh, it's too many problems, too many responsibilities, and you want to make a brand new start. It looks like you've got that Ten of Wands. Um, you've got the Ten of Wands at the bottom. Sorry. The Ten of Wands at the bottom. Yes, I'm right. You have the Ten of Wands at the bottom. So you have been dealing with a lot of issues. You can see this person studying quite a bit over here. So there's been a lot of, maybe you've been doing a lot of paperwork, uh, you know, and you've been uh, swamped. You can see this person's working late hours into the night. And now this new offer has come in, this new project has come in that involves some kind of travel and liberates you. And with the Nine of Wands, you know, you, maybe you're tired of going through all these problems. So you want to end the circumstance. You want to end and you want to move uh, forward. Um, and, you know, it has had its emotional impact on you as well. Now, you've got the Four of Swords, so it looks like you're very stressed out, very tired, and you want to take a little bit of a break. You've got those Three of uh, uh, Swords over here. Uh, it's about, you know, having... You may have even dealt with some kind of legal issue in, on the work front as well, or some kind of official issue on the work front, and you're trying to withdraw uh, from that circumstance or give it some distance, put some distance between you and it in order for you to come up with a new strategy or plan. You definitely need to take some time out and de-stress so that you can think about what you want to do next. So you need to make plans as to what is going on. And, uh, you know, you need to take some time out. You might be even going through some kind of stress-related illness as well. You've got the temperance card over here. So there is some health issues going on over here. It looks like there is something stress-related. So you need to watch out for that help. You've got uh, a need for balance, a need to uh, get your body and your mind and your spirit back again in order. And you're trying to do that. So you do need to take that little bit of a holiday, a little bit of a break in order for you to, uh, you know, get everything together again and, uh, you know, sort out what is going on. Um, the temperance card is about trying to blend things or trying to, um, you know, um, look at all the, the training that you've had and come up with a solution for that particular issue that you're dealing with.
You've got the star card over here, so there's some kind of guidance coming in. You're having a new plan, a new direction in which you want to follow. The star card is also about getting rid of all that negative energy and that negative toxic toxicity, all those emotions that are going through, through you uh, in order for you to make plans for the future and see the bigger picture. So there's some kind of guidance uh, coming in for you. You do just need to have a little bit more hope uh, and be a bit more optimistic about what is going on. There is some kind of guidance coming in. There might be some kind of communication coming in because of all the stars that are there. So, uh, you know, there might be some kind of research that you need to do in order for you to get an answer. You've got the King of Wands over here. So you are trying to get on top of this, uh, the, the problem. And you want a position of leadership. Uh, you know, and you want a position where you have more recognition for what you're doing. Maybe, you know, you want a position where you have, uh, you know, where you can publicly speak, public communication. Uh, with, the, with the King of Wands, it's somebody very dynamic, uh, you know, and maybe you want more travel as well within your work uh, front. So going into the future, you've got that Eight of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Fool. So the Eight of Wands is about, uh, you know, time moving on, things starting to move on, and maybe there's some travel coming in. There's also some news coming in for you, so this will be pretty quick. Uh, you know, and they say new brooms swoop, sweep clean, so it looks like uh, whatever this news is, uh, it's going to be. There's a lot of communication. You've got a lot of stars in the background over here, and it's coming in pretty quickly over here. Maybe over the Internet, uh, some kind of communications are coming in for you. So some, there's some good messages coming in for you. The Seven of Wands is showing about you defending yourself or defending whatever you or standing up for yourself. Um, you know, there might be still some problems that you are going to be dealing with with that Seven of Wands, uh, but you will be able to uh, sort it out, provided that you stand up for whatever you believe in. Uh, and this is about making a new start with the full card. So you can see that brand new road is wide open over there for you. So maybe you're thinking about starting new, starting afresh, moving on, packing your bags and moving on from this uh, particular scenario uh, into something, you know, uh, less burdensome because you are, you know, dealing with that nine of wands energy over there. So you're having a lot of problems. So maybe things and, you know, you're having to defend yourself quite a bit. So maybe this is the reason why you're planning on starting on a fresh or starting new. And it seems like there is that new offer coming in for you. Um, so, uh, you know, whatever this job is, it's having its effect on your health. It's having its effect on you and you're trying to move on from it. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the fairy tarot for the uh, Oracle read. So there you go. You've got the Ace of Spring, which is the same as that Ace of Wands. So there's definitely a new beginning coming in. And it says it's time to take action. Be fearless and happy to pursue your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. So there is that brand new opportunity coming in for you. Uh, it's uh, Ace of Wands has appeared twice. So it looks like there's this new opportunity coming in for you. And there might be that opportunity for, uh, for travel involved. So follow your passion when it comes to your career. Be the best at what you can do. Being compensated for your creative skills. Uh, talents. Now the three of autumn is the three of pentacles. So you are going to, to take up this new post or this new offer. If you take it up, it looks like you'll be working with a team of people and you know, it will generate the money that you need and it will provide career advancement as well. And a lot of recognition. You've got the 10 of winter over here, a resolution of diff difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulder and the end of a addiction or codependency. So the 10 of winter is like the 10 of swords. So you are ending the situation. It looks like you're going to completely, you know, um, finish off with this particular job, cut off ties and move on. And it looks like the new job that is going to be coming in this new offer is going to be something long term because the um, pentacles uh, suit is about something long term uh, and something pro that provides career advancement. So it looks like that's coming into your arena. And it looks like, you know, you might end this particular situation completely and move on. Maybe things just didn't work out or things are just not working out where you are at and you, it looks like you are planning on making that brand new start um, and going for it. So um, I hope that this reading has resonated with you and please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.